tonight is uh, Brand Supremacy at Survivor Series. And it will feature three brands for the first time in the history of WWE. It will be Raw vs. SmackDown vs. NXT, who put on a hell of a show last night at NXT TakeOver War Games. So, my predictions for this event. First, on the pre-show, I'm pretty sure it's on the pre-show, we're going to have Adam McCall defend the NXT title against Pete Dunne, who won the triple threat match last night against Priest and Killian Dane. I'm going with Adam Cole to win this because he's not going to lose this on the pre-show. And for sure, not on the pre-show. So, as I said, Adam Cole will retain his title. I'm not sure where the match order is after the pre-show, so I'll just go in random order from wherever I start with. So I'm going to start with the title matches just first. The Universal title in the WWE Championship. The Universal title is going to have The Fiend, Bray Wyatt, take on Dan O'Brien. Well, this could be a good match. There's no way they're taking the title off of Bray Wyatt. There's just no way. I don't know how long Bray Wyatt's going to hold it, but I believe, in my heart, he's going to hold it until WrestleMania. I could be wrong, but... That's what I would do. I would book him to be the championship champion to WrestleMania. So, as I said, Bray Wyatt's going to retain over Daniel Bryan. This feud will probably continue until TLC. And maybe even World Rumble, but we'll see. Next, we have Brock Lesnar versus Rey Mysterio for the WWE Championship. Now, this feud has been really, really good ever since Brock Lesnar demolished Rey Mysterio's son a couple months ago. But, as much as this match could be good, Brock Lesnar is going to retain and not lose to Rey Mysterio. I'm pretty sure everybody is going to agree with me on this prediction. He's not going to lose. Now, let's get to the Brand Supremacy matches. I'm going to start with the, the women's triple threat match. We have... The Raw Women's Champion, Becky Lynch, taking on the SmackDown Women's Champion in Bayley, and NXT Women's Champion, Shayna Baszler. Now, this match seems like the favorites are Bayley, or it's not a favorite, but the favorites are Becky and Shayna Baszler. But don't be surprised if Bayley sneaks a win. Don't expect a finishing move from her. Expect like a wall up or something on to Becky or Shayna Baylor. If you think she's if you think she's gonna win. I'm not sure who's gonna win this. I think my brain says it's Becky, but my heart says Bailey is gonna win this. She's gonna sneak out a win. So I'm getting, going with Bailey pitting Becky. I think they wanna keep Shayna strong. On the NXT brand. Especially since she took the pin last night in the NXT Women's War Games match. Next, we have the US champion Shinsuke Nakamura taking on AJ Styles. Uh, no, he's a US champion, and Nakamura is the Intercontinental champion. Taking on Roderick Strong, uh, the uh, North American champion. Roger Strong is not going to win this match. I'm sorry, but he's not going to win this match. I'm going with Nakamura here. As you remember, Nakamura hasn't been AJ Styles on the main roster. He lost three times in a row to him in that 2018 feud after Nakamura turned heel at WrestleMania after losing to AJ Styles in a WWE Championship title match at WrestleMania. So, Nakamura is my pick to win this match. Next, we have the tag team match with uh, the, the tag team champions match with the Viking Raiders, New Day, Nine Spirit Era, containing of Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. I'm gonna pick with the Viking Raiders here. I think they want to keep them strong, and that's all I have to say. I know a lot of you think Nine Spirit Era probably win this match or picking them in this match but I'm going to the Viking Raiders here next we have the women's 
five on five on five brand supremacy match between Raw, SmackDown, and NXT. I'm going to say this right now. While well, NXT's roster is strong in the women's division, I don't think they're going to win this match. I think Raw's going to win it. I, but that's all I think. I think Raw's going to win this match. And, and Charlotte's going to be the last one in ta- submitting. Submitting either. I don't think Ripley's going to last. I think Ripley's going to get eliminated early. She's going to submit one NXT woman. So I'm saying Raw's going to win this match. Now, for the men's 5-on-5-on-5 five on five on five Super FC, we don't know who the men's select team is going to be. Apparently it's going to be announced on a pre-show tonight. But if I have to guess, in my opinion, who I'm going to think is going to be the team, it's going to be Champa, Keith Lee, Matt Riddle, Finn Balor, and Damian Priest. But I don't think they're going to win. I honestly don't think NXT is going to win any of these matches. It's not, it's not going to hurt them at all. Trust me, it's not going to hurt them. But I'm going with the Raw team. They just seem there's not any turmoil between that brand. Even though like some of it is um, McIntyre and Orton. You don't know if you can trust them. But there hasn't been much turmoil on that brand for this pay-per-view. On SmackDown, yeah, there has been issues specifically with Baron Corbin and Roman Reigns. So I'm going with Raw here. And that's my predictions. Tell me what you think.